Bruce here, and as you see, I bought something else from Pokemon underscore John on Instagram, and this is the Gentleman Pikachu. There's his uh, little tag there. I'm uh, cutting this off and sticking in my Pokemon scrapbook thing with the this one this tag. And just look at him, so cute, like. A hat with a Pokeball on it. We've got a walking stick. And he's got a uh, little chain here that uh, I guess it makes, looks like it goes around up there better. But it's got a uh, U on it. Nice material too. It's a little bow tie. Very soft. Kind of reminds me of the, of the the bow tie. Kind of reminds me of the, you know, ducky from NCIS. <laughs> There's some other random bow tie wearing character. But yeah, it's so cute. I couldn't resist. It was another forty, but still. Like, you know, they just look so cute together. Like, look, see? It's like they're going on a date or something. Anyway, it was nice also to send freebies. So this is like one of the Pikachus that will, uh, that will hang on the side of the glass. Um, I don't really have one right here. Where are Well, I've got a... I've got a candle, so we'll use this it's a candle. See, so I'll just like this. This one that hangs when I don't tip it. Uh, yes, hangs on the side. I don't really like candles in my room because I'll set off the smoke alarm, but uh, it like. It smells even without me lighting it, so I just want to be a, you know, air freshener candle type thing. Anyway, yes. So, it kind of just plays on there. I I can put that. Okay. The stretch there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's different. Copyright Nintendo slash Pokemon T Arts made in Vietnam. At least it's one thing that's not made in China for a change. <laughs> that's really a change. Okay, so there we have it. There's that Pikachu there. One freebie down. Another freebie he gave me is this cute looking cat set. I guess I could say a magnet by the look and feel of it. I guess it's a magnet. Look at that. It's a kitty. Huh? Kind of reminds me of like a... I don't know. But uh, yeah. Nice kitty. Or very agitated looking kitty. <laughs> I can smash it up and put it back in there. I'm gonna stick it on my phone cabinet with all the rest of my weird things that I've stuck on there. Cause like, I, I've got lots of weird stuff on there. Well, I got a kitty on there too. And a... There's an, an easy card from Taiwan that my brother gave me. Some Detective Pikachu stuff and other stuff. Anyway, these my filing cabinet's magnetic so I can stick it on there. And the awesome, he had a, uh, he, he said he'd, he'd give it, send it to me, but there I go. It's very nice. It's nice and it's double sleeve too, so uh, I sleep mine the other way, so. 
this around. I'm a bit picky. Slightly annoying when my battery keeps on dying on me, but there we go. So pretty is the, um, what I call it anyway, the, uh, the Sakura, which is cherry blossom, Afro Pikachu. That's from the uh, Pokemon Center Tokyo DX. Actually, it's a, I see a freebie pin that he gave me last time. Hey, it's too bad though. He didn't have a plush of this one for sale or something. But still, because he got these cards with the plushes. Alright, so awesome. I don't really into Japanese, so you know, love a lot of Japanese uh, stuff because it's too expensive to import and stuff. So normally I don't, you know, bother with it, but it's so pretty and amusing. Anyway, so yeah, so that's what I got from Pokemon underscore John, and his link will be in the description below. Now, this technically, I guess, would be my Pokemon Mini Haul number three. Because number two should be up before this one. If not, then I've uploaded them in the wrong order. And this one I got from Weedle Guy, Weedle underscore guy, from Instagram. I bought this. Let's see what I got, because I can't remember. <laughs> and I've got tape. Of course, I've got tape. Of course, I've got tape. Mm. And I've got a card that's actually in the top loader as well. Okay, um, I won't show them to you yet because I know I don't want to spoil anything interesting. That's a lot of tape. Okay, um, sorry, it's, it annoys me if I see a bit and I, I leave it, which I don't leave it because it annoys me. You know? Probably not, but I just am like that. I had to change the battery. But, uh, if you saw the picture I put in before this clip, then that is the uh, profile for Weedle underscore guy on Instagram. And you also put in a couple uh, extras, so this one is an extra goodie, and so is this one. Now for all the cards that I bought. You got a Zapdos reverse. Absol Hollow, Deoxys Hollow, and Mega Rayquaza EX. I didn't have a Mega, so I thought I might as well do it. So yeah. Look at the eyes. Ooh. Slightly creepy, but there we go. And of course it says Emerald Break in Japanese, and on the Japanese card it'll say Emerald Break in English, for some reason. I don't know, it is a cool effect though, that's probably why they did that. 
Oh yeah. That is what I bought. And the two goodies. So that's for me to buy. And the next person after this clip, because I don't I don't have it yet, will be in the next clip. So until then. Here are the last parts for the uh, mini Pokemon haul from Instagram, uh, number three. Um, so you see three packages here, and I'll do a little clip of who they're from, like show you the profiles. So here's the first one. J underscore the underscore Pokemon underscore lover is a very nice person, very easy to, uh, you know, buy from and whatnot. So that's her one. So as you probably know by now, I've bought from her quite a few times. So the next one, the next one, I got, I bought from is PKM underscore trainer underscore decast. So very, you know, positive stuff to say about this person. I only bought from this person once, so and so this one and it seems to have come all, you know, secure and uh, top loaders top loaders and stuff. So thumbs up this guy and the last person. And this is the last person. As you see also from, she says here, uh, nostalgia.comics. Very, very nice. A verified and trusted seller. As you can read there. You know, sells all sorts of stuff. And does raffles as well, like that one. And like, uh, you know, and auctions as well. And uh, claim sales and whatnot. So, yeah. All of them, very, very nice sellers and stuff. By the way, it's using the spray arm, so. You always have to be wary, but uh, there was a site that does, well, a user that does do, you know verified and whatnot. But anyway, always remember, like if you need be, you know, always look at the uh, reference post. Helps you, like, you know. So anyway, on with the show. Alright, so first one, I guess, we'll uh, go for this one. And if you have noticed, awesome, eerie little uh, blanket I'm doing this on that I bought from uh, uh, John Ken Koji. So, hang on, let me just. Okay, well. I know I have these already, but I wanted to have doubles, but, um, okay, so, yeah, thank you so much for your purchase, I hope you do more business in the future, and check out her, uh, Instagram, so I actually did ask her to do it on a fairy one, because, like, on the previous, uh, two, or three, I think it was two, that, um, that she wrote on, was a, uh, and considering, because I'm totally weird and I stick these in my Pokemon scrapbook, I wanted, by the time I bought from her nine times, I was hoping to have at least one of each energy from her. <laughs> totally, you know, just, just a me thing, that is. So here you go, here is the, um, taped. And the way she always tapes it so nothing falls out, which is very nice. And it's also very nice that she puts a little, uh, sticky note, yes, sticky note, on the back of these so it's easy to, you know, get out. So anyway, 
these are the doubles that I got, which is the uh, boost, super boost energy prism and the Cyrus prism, the uh, the one that uh, they did a typo on, I believe. So like, one one is. Uh, You know, when it's worth a lot, I might, you know, sell one and keep the other, or, you know, you know how things go. Thinking of the future. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I just need to sleeve it properly. Because for these ones, I always use the uh, KMC Perfect Fit. Yep, so that is J's. The Pokemon Lover one. And okay, this is the uh Thank you for your purchase. PKM underscore trainer underscore decast. So these are the ones. I'm not gonna show you all at once because that just ruins the surprise. Mm, I can get it out. So that's that one. Okay. So, let's stick this in my scrapbook then. So what we have is a Heatran Level X. I thought that was pretty cool and I never had, I don't think, a level X before, maybe. And also, it's a legendary, so I collect more legendaries than really the other cards, apart from the evolutions. That. Anyway, I couldn't resist this, because it is the uh, very, very old school, so its holographic effect is all, well, except for the fairy, because that wasn't invented then. But all energy types. Because like as you there, you see there is metal, normal, water, fire, darkness, lightning, or electric. And metal there again. Where's the fighting? Oh yeah, there's a grass. There it is. There's the fighting. So that's pretty cool. I at least have to have one of these in my collection. And the last one. Mew. So cute, isn't he? I couldn't resist. So cute. And these are in very good condition. By the looks of it. Sort of. Couple scuffs, but I don't mind since I'm not technically going to send up a grade or anything. So, then in these. I'm very bit picky about this, as you might be able to tell by now. Doink. And since that is. By the way, I'm on the charisma now. It's a legendary. It goes in the shiny shiny. And this one might as well go in the shiny shiny since it's awesome and old school. And um, why not? You know? Technically it's the reverse, because it's, you know, the hollow effect is the reverse, but, eh, I think I might stick it with the hollows anyway. <laughs> awesome. So 
so happy these came today. Oh, oh. There it is. I accidentally took out two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here, and there you are. Awesome. I just, I could stare at this all the time. Anyway, yep. So that's that one. And lastly, yeah, these are what I paid for it. Four pound, a four pound, and a two fifty. But I mean dollar. Okay, so here is the nostalgia comics. That's just. I don't know why I did that since that wouldn't actually really open anything. I don't even know why I'm using scissors. I could just rip it. So oh, do I want to rip it? Oh man. I'm at least gonna cut it from the back. Ooh, it's in lots of Is that cling film? Looks like cling film, doesn't it? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna cut this out and I'll stick this bit in my scrapbook because I'm weird like that. Okay. Now the question is, how do I get this off? So like, A plus or A star for packaging? Because <laughs> like this is... Not coming undone. And there we go. Good thing I have my scissors on hand. Uh -oh. Okay. That is a very nice way of wrapping. Okay, so we've got loads of cards in each. Okay, so probably not loads. Let's cut them open because obviously there's more tape. I mean, why wouldn't there be more tape? It's always more tape. It's always the tape. Okay. Is in there with me while I take them out. Okay, that was quite a bit in that one. Now to take these out. Okay, might as well just do this first, shall we? Okay, we've got a Ralts and a Golem, like very very old one. So those two. Then we have a base set Abra and a is it Bebe or Beebs? Well, research. Research. She's the one that did the uh, um, Pokemon boxes in the computer, I think. So that's pretty. So that's that. And lastly, we've got Unknown K. This says uh, Keep. And this is Unknown E for Engage. Here is Unknown G for Guard. And an awesome Some people like a you know thing about world championships, but uh, 
I just collect for the art, really. I don't really mind. Because I don't have to really play them. Because you can't play these in world tournaments and whatever. I'm been told. And I just do it for the collection, really. So, bearing that in mind, out of all of the unknowns, I have a K now. I've got an E. And I've got a G. So, these are the unknowns I got left, need left. <laughs> so quite a bit of the alphabet left to go. But yes, that is everything. So there'll be five, I guess, peoples in this mini haul. So yeah. Hope you uh, enjoyed this, and uh, I get so uh, carried away when I buy things. I mean, I got stuff I'm already planning to buy for tomorrow, and this won't be tomorrow by the time I post this up, but I'm just saying from today, which is 10th, so yeah, but I am so psyched that this came. I mean... Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Over and out. I actually didn't notice earlier, but this is actually the uh, Starfoil. See?